Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today, I have another iPhone iOS game for you. The name of the game is Levamp or Levamp if you are French, however you want to call it or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the game is a endless runner game and probably one of the most enjoyable games I have experienced on the iOS in a while. Here is the uh, main menu screen here as with many endless runner games. You have the power up, upgrade, and then you'll have some other stuff that'll come in future updates, as well as the LeBank, which is where you have the in-app purchases. Here are the power ups. There's different ones here. Uh, the bat one is uh, a lot of fun. You turn into a bat and just go a little quicker. Sunblock will block you from the beams, and you'll see what I mean here shortly, and there's others as well. Here are the upgrades. Upgrades can range from upgrading your health, your total health, to starting with more health, all the way up to, you know, coin magnets and things such as that. Uh, next, I'm going to show you some of the other options here. This is the in-app purchases here. You can buy coins. Next, I'm going to show you your profile. As with a lot of endless runner games, you have missions to complete within the game, so they'll give you objectives as you're going through the game to try to accomplish, and it also shows all kinds of really neat stats as far as you know how you've died, how many monsters you've killed, sort of thing as well. So let's go ahead and dive into it, and I'm going to show you a little bit you know about the game so you see the little kind of transparent pigs there those are called blood pigs that is what fuels you through the game the more pigs you eat or consume the quicker and you know better your Levant character uh, goes so as you see there there's some in the back and there's some uh, on the foreground there uh, as you saw the pumpkins there all you're doing is just tapping on those to remove them and then you have the little turnip looking things in the ground you just pull those up and again you're just trying to go as fast as you possibly can without getting ran over by the mob that is behind you as you see there that's a jitter bean that's one of the power-ups in the game that allows you to you know put things in slow motion that way you can kind of you know, towards the end of the game, are the you know the more you go, the quicker you begin to go, which makes things a little more difficult. So slowing it down does help. So as you see, I'm trying to consume as many of those pigs as possible, and obviously you have the coins there that you can tap on to try to accumulate as many points as you possibly can throughout the run. This game does support uh, Game Center, so it does have leaderboards. You can you know challenge your friends and do the normal stuff. You're about to see some parts here in the level where uh, there'll be rivers where you have to cut down trees there to uh, go in, you know, over them. Uh, as you see there, I got the bat power up, and again there I'm cutting down a tree. So the game is a lot of fun, and it does get hectic the more you go on and the quicker you go. Now that pig there, which is a different color, uh, they call those garlic pigs. You cannot consume those because that will kill you. You have so much HP, you start with three. Uh, each time you get hit by something you're not supposed to, it takes it down one. So when you get to zero you are out of HP and the people or the mob behind you indeed catches up with you so it's you know the controls are fairly simple you're swiping up you're swiping down swiping left to right to make sure you know you're doing things like that you just saw a sunbeam there you just put your finger above it to block the sunbeam from getting on your character and again the more of those pigs that you do eat the quicker and you know easier it'll be for you to continue on going now as the level progresses you will see other things that look like those turnips but it'll only have two different spouts on the top of it those are bad you do not want to pull those up which makes it very difficult when you become you know go quicker to determine whether it's a bad or good thing to do uh, so the game does get uh, so there's one right there see I, I pulled it up and I should not have so as you see here I'm going faster uh, I turn into a bat when I jump off a ledge and that is a power up you can get a power up that makes you last uh, you know a bat a little longer so uh, you can see here I'm getting close to dying I believe there's a little fuel bar up at the top that shows you know kind of how many pigs you've consumed and you want that to get all the way to full as you know quickly as possible so as you see here I applied one of the power ups the slow motion power up that way I can do things a little quicker and can understand exactly what I'm doing overall this game Game is a ton of fun. I caught myself playing it a whole bunch, trying to you know see how far I could possibly get. Uh, but as the level progresses, as I have already said, it gets a lot harder, so that uh, makes it a little more difficult there. But Levamp, all in all, is a really fun game. It's $1.99 in the App Store, and it's completely worth that price, in my opinion. As you see here, you have the missions over to the left there. If you accomplish one, you get uh, more stuff added to your profile, and then you see your high score over there to the 
the right. Anyways, guys, the name of the game is Le Vamp or Le Vamp, however you want to say it. One ninety nine in the iOS App Store. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. And uh, if you have any questions or opinions, put them in the comment box below. As always, it helps me out when you subscribe to my channel, like my videos, do all those things. It really does help me out. And I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.